What's going on, everybody? This is your boy, Yarn Craig, and I'm back with another video today. Again, covering WNBA basketball as the season comes to a close. Go ahead and click that like and subscribe button before we get to it. So now, in this video, we're going to be looking at that six Woman of the Year award. That's the first player off the bench. We're looking at the most productive players coming off the bench for the WNBA this season. So... First, I'm going to go over my honorable mentions, and then I'm going to go over my top five candidates. So coming in with the honorable mentions, I got two players that I really kind of wanted to include on that top five, but I couldn't because they played too many games as starters. So the first one is Sophie Cunningham. She's started 18 games, and to me, that's just far too many to really consider her a bench player. And it was situational because after Tina Charles ended up you know, doing the whole contract divorce thing. That was a wrap. She's pretty much been starting since then. And then we got Tierra McCowan out there on the Dallas Wings, who's been absolutely on a tear if you look at her stats. But I also look at it, she's played, she started 13 games. And I think that's just a bit much to really consider her a true, true, true bench player. I mean, that's that's not as bad as Sophie Cunningham, but it's still a bit much. Because a lot of the numbers she got, you know, sometimes she was starting. So it's not it's not quite fair. Everybody in my top five has under 10 games started. So let's go ahead and get to that. Coming in at number five, I got Rebecca Gardner from the Chicago Sky. Her numbers don't jump off the pages to you when you just look at her points. Eight a game, rebounds, three a game, assists, one a game steals won a game 1.4 a game now that jumps out to you because she's one of the better stealers in the WNBA one of the better defenders off the rip but this player even though she is a rookie she's 31 years old you all already know she does not play like a rookie she's been playing overseas for like 10 years so she's coming in as an already developed player to a championship team like the Chicago Sky and personally she's already She's already a high-level role player that could easily start on the number of teams in the WNBA. Honestly, even including, even including the Chicago Sky, she could probably really start as is right now. Number four, I got Han Zhu. Han Zhu from the New York Liberty, averaging eight points a game, 3.8 rebounds, one assist, 50% from the field, 44% from three. The first thing that jumps out to you about Han Zhu is the fact that she's 6'10" tallest player in the WNBA. But the next big thing that really steps out to you is that she's got a jumper at 6'10 in the WNBA. So she has an absolutely unguardable jump shot that she can actually make. So sky is the limit for her. She may not be a starter yet, but at some point I do expect her to become a starter at six foot 10 with her shooting ability. She could step outside and shoot the three. Very high, very highly intelligent player, great rim roller. She could finish around the basket over pretty much everybody in the WNBA. She has some problems with the more physical players because of, you know, she has a smaller frame, but her overall ability, especially offensively, sky is the limit if they keep developing her. Like I, the, the WNBA is in trouble if they, if they get her on the right regiment and program, New York Liberty is going to be the problem in a few years. But next, at the number three spot from the Atlanta Dream, I got Ari McDonald. So this point guard is five foot six, and she may be small in stature, but her stats coming off the bench are not small. 11 points per game, two rebounds, 2.6 assists, 1.5 steals, 35% from three. So she's really a fire starter off the bench. She plays with a lot of energy. Though she's five foot six, it's like it doesn't, you don't feel like you're playing against somebody that's just very, 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 very tiny. She's so fast that it's almost like she works around the fact that she's smaller than a lot of players on the court. But what I really like about her is that when the opportunity rose for her to start, Erica Wheeler went down, the starting point guard for the dream. When she went down, Ari McDonald stepped up and she put up some solid numbers, averaging around 14 points and around four or five assists over a course of like three or four games when Erica Wheeler was out but she's a player too if you watch her play she to me already plays like a starting caliber point guard maybe not an all-star yet 
but she's definitely got starting caliber point guard chops. She's a solid decision making and a, a solid decision maker and a solid defender already in her young career. Only two, I think she's only two years in. Also, she's probably a candidate for most improved player. At number two, I got Azaray Stevens from the Chicago Sky. And if you all watched the Chicago Sky last year, you understand how big she was as part of that championship team. And also this season, she's just been amazing off the bench, averaging 10.5 points, four rebounds, 1.2 blocks, 47% from the field and 34% from three. It's always a luxury when you have a big, a center that can step out and shoot the three. She's not afraid to let it fly. She lets it fly every game. Long jumpers, long threes, she's good for that. But every team does not have a big that can come off and just come off the bench and give you instant offense. But that's what Azaray State Stevens is. She has a high motor. She just, she has a way of being in the right place at the right time. She's a decent rebounder, you know. So the Chicago Sky, you know, when Candace Parker or Misa, Emma Messerman goes down to the bench, they have a solid big coming off the bench that can honestly start on a few teams in the WNBA as well. So Azaray Stevens, has the second place vote and is my runner up for the award last but not least this was the easiest this is probably the easiest out of all of the awards well this one and most improved player i think you know are kind of shoe in awards but without a doubt there's no question in my mind brianna jones is easily easily the sixth woman of the year it is almost a shame that a player like her is actually coming off the bench. She is the definition almost of why the WNBA needs expansion because she's averaging 13.7 points, which is second on the team, five rebounds, 1.2 assists, 0.4 blocks, 56% from the field. She's shooting 85% from the free throw line, which leads her team and her field goal percentage at that 56% leads her team as well. You could honestly argue that She's probably the most consistent player on the Connecticut Suns team that's absolutely loaded in their front court with John Quell Jones, Duana Bonner, Alyssa Thomas. It's almost not even fair how loaded they are. It's really, it's really not even fair how loaded those front court players are on that Connecticut Suns team. And the fact that she's coming off the bench and she's averaging the second most amount of points and the time that she's getting, it's just, it's absolutely unbelievable. She was an all-star this year coming off the bench. She was probably, just how I spoke of Asia Wilson being one of the dominant post players in the WNBA, Brianna Jones is also right up there as one of the best post players in the NBA with that solid frame and size. Nobody really, nobody wants to bang with her down there because most people don't have the size or strength to really handle her. She gets most of her baskets by bullying people, moving them down low. So she pretty much easily, easily, easily takes this number one spot as the sixth woman off the bench. She's an all-star parading around as a sixth woman. Honestly, I can only imagine what her stats will look like if she was actually a starter. But that is my list. Tell me what you guys think. Brianna Jones, to me, hands down, is six woman of the year i don't think i'm going to get too much debate on that anyway that's my video though guys peace